Spencer, not a vintage uh, farm performance that we've uh, come to expect. Um, yeah, one up on the half hour, and Reese Jones really should have put you uh, two up, and that really cost you, didn't it? Because uh, you went down the other end and uh, got the equaliser, and then went on to win the game. What's your thoughts? Well, we deserved something from the game, there's no doubt. We've had uh, double the amount of opportunities they have, and we probably should have been three up by half time. We've we've missed two or three fabulous opportunities with three on one in, in their box and the, the, we didn't have our shooting boots today, second half Tarpey's clean through on goal and decides to cross it instead of just shooting and all, all three goals were very preventable from our perspective and so it, it's, it's very disappointing, uh, don't want to take anything away from Hayes but you know we're very disappointed because uh, we, we deserve something from the game but they've been ruthless at our end, I don't think we've had an awful lot to do but we've all three goals were very poor from us and we didn't have our shooting boots on so we've, we've come away from with, with nothing. And the Hayes, they seem to work their socks off. Um, is that their, their normal ploy? They, they shut you down and uh, shut all the space down which seemed to nullify some of your better players? Not really. I think Hayes is one of the best teams in this division. I said that before we played them today. Um, I thought we started by far the better side. We deserved to be leading. And when we closed them down, we created chances and uh, the game should have been dead. But uh, as you say, we, we missed our, a great chance to go 2 0 up and a uh, very soft goal that we let the guy just waltz past three of our players and just smash the ball into the net as much as it's a good strike. I mean, it was very poor defending and the next two goals. But in between that, we've created so many chances and uh, we, we, we should have got something from the game. But if, if, if you uh, concede soft goals like we conceded today and, and don't have your shooting boots in, you, you don't get much against a good side like Hayes. So we're, we're very, very disappointed because. Uh, you know, we felt we, sh we should have got something from the game, and it it's a lesson to us that uh, you know we're not that good a team. We're, we're decent. Uh, one one defeat doesn't uh, doesn't change anything, um, and it's good that we can get straight back uh, on it on Tuesday night at home to Truro. Do you think that'll be a wake up call? I mean, you've been on a fabulous run, and uh, you've marched right up the table, uh, third from bottom you were not so long ago, and you're in the playoff spot. Early days for that, I know, but you're in sixth spot. Do you think it's a wake up call? Well, that's the phrase I've just used in there, but the reality is, is this table is so ridiculously tight. You can go from the relegation zone to the top few very quickly. It, it's so tight, so it's, it's really irrelevant at the moment. It's just the fact that everybody is beating everybody. Um, it is a wake-up call. We knew that they were a very good side. I, I did watch them on Sunday and they were very luck unlucky indeed in the FA Cup. So it, it's a wake-up call that we need to be at our best and far too many of my players today were sloppy, both ends of the park. And uh, it was disappointing because, as I said, when you look back at the stats, we had by far more opportunities than they did and, and, and we just weren't clinical around their box. And they were and we defended poorly for their goals. So. It's been a difficult day for us, but it doesn't make a bad team. And as I said, it's a wake-up call. And, and the good news is, is we play again very quickly, and we've got to get back on it straight away on Tuesday. And uh, finally, um, one or two of the supporters were shouting at the referee. They uh, seemed to make one or two uh, uh, funny decisions, I think, in the crowd's uh, views. What, what was your view? Well, my biggest disappointment was at the end, because even when we scored, even the crowd announcer said to me, you know, two minutes into stoppage time, and he'd announced five, which I thought was very, very light. There'd been five substitutions, um, I think six substitutions, and Dean Inman was down for three, four minutes minimum, and he only allowed five, and literally 30 seconds after the goal, he's calling for full time, and that's what we were so upset about. He really didn't give us a chance with that at all. So, and, there, and we didn't seem to get much going for us, but that evens its way out. I don't think he had a particularly bad game. I'm disappointed we didn't seem to get the full amount of time added on. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm more disappointed with my players. Um, we didn't put the level of performance in we know we can do, and uh, we realise against a good side like Hayes, that they've got quality players, and, and we let them score three goals, which were all defendable. So I'm, I'm very disappointed about that. Spencer, um, Truro, what do you know about Truro? They have been struggling, but uh, have you seen them? Yeah, I saw them at Staines last week, and thought they deserved a point. I think massive credit to them on and off the pitch, what they've done to manage to survive and the players and manager deserve immense credit uh, for managing to stick with it. And, and they've got some really decent players. Uh, I was very impressed with them. And obviously they don't have big numbers and they may be able to strengthen their squad before we play them on Tuesday. But we need to be very focused that they are a blue square south side uh, and we will need to be at our best to win them. We need our fans to turn up in numbers. Uh, we had a disappointing defeat on Saturday. And we are on a good run and nothing changes from that, but we will need to be our best to get the three points against them.